Hey guys, and welcome to a new Let's Play. Right, what have we got here? Please adjust the brightness so the image in the center is barely visible. Uh, yeah, that looks good to me. Tormented Souls. Now, I don't know a huge amount about this game, actually. Uh, I've seen it crop up here and there online, but my online presence is <laughs> questionable these days, thanks to shitty internet. Um... I, as far as I understand, it's like the old school Resident Evils. Now, this game was given to me by Reaver of Jill Sandwiches. He gifted this to me on Steam. Uh, so, let's go for it. I literally know almost nothing about this. So, this is going to be fun. I think. I hope. Maybe. Uh, let's have a little look at the graphics and all that kind of stuff. V-Sync off. Ooh, yeah. Let's have, let's have some V-Sync. I don't know if we're going to be playing this on 120 FPS anyway, so let's V-Sync it. Uh, grain, no. I absolutely hate film grain. It is one of my most hated visual effects. I cannot stand film grain. It really is quite a pet peeve of mine. I don't understand why you'd make these beautiful, you know, 1080p or 4K visuals and make them run really nicely smooth and, and then just roll a shit filter all over the whole thing so you can't actually see it anyway. Uh, yeah, right, let's go. Start game. Tormented Souls. Published by Pube, eh? Okay. A letter for me. Ooh, I never something. receive letters. <laughs> yeah, that's always uh, that. That's pretty horrific because I fucking hate that when the doorbell goes. You're like, oh no, people. Um, a letter for me, eh? Uh, if that's our main character, she looks mm, questionable. But okay. Caroline Walker is our name. Uh, Rain Street. Okay, Canada, okay. From John Doe, right. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, I like this. This is cool. This little, mm, very reminiscent of RE1. All right. Should I check the front of the letter to see who the sender is? Yeah, it's John Doe. Uh, from John Doe, uh-huh. From the hospital, Winter Lake. Blackwood Island, calen uh, Calendar, <laughs> Canada, uh, to Caroline Walker. Not sure what this particular effect is. It kind of seems a little bit strange, but okay. Uh, yeah, right. Well, what does it say? Oh, Polaroid. You just think you can abandon us here. All right, so we look at the photo and we get a headache. Damaged photograph of two girls who appear to be twins. Do you think you can just simply abandon us here? So, do we have a twin? Are we a mum? It's been two weeks since I received that letter from the Wildberger Hospital. Since then, I haven't been fine. I can't get out of my head the image of those little girls. I can't sleep. And when I am able to fall asleep, it's only to dream horrible nightmares. I need to know what's going on. What's the meaning of all of this? Mm. I'm going to the Wildberger Hospital in hopes of finding some answers about this strange photo. I need to know what's going on. Okay, now this. This looks cool. This looks really cool. Still wearing the same outfit two weeks later. All right. Well, this place is a mess. Uh, 
What? Do we just get lumped around the, the head or we pass out? Oh, f fuck. Okay. Uh, why? Uh, didn't expect that. Wash your hands, please. This is a hell of a lot darker than I thought. I'm sure this is YouTube friendly. Sure. Right, well, I mean, at least she's had a bath, because uh, I think she's wearing the same outfit for like two weeks. Um, right, what the fuck? So, we've turned up in this mental hospital. Artistically, this place looks like it's straight out of the 40s or something, looking at all this machinery. Um, we've obviously had something happen to us, because we had a pipe down our throat. Yeah, let's not think too much about that. Now we're bandaged. Are we missing an eye? Oh, shit. Holy fuck, what? So we've had an eye gouged out. Dude, th this is pretty horrific. What? My god, what have they done to me? Who could have done such a horrible thing to me? Why? I have no idea. Um, I Yeah, well, I guess there's a little bit more to this than I, I thought. All right. Um, why was I connected to the respirator? I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, keeping you alive, maybe? Whilst they, you know, removed your eyeball for reasons. William Wildberger's diary. Today is the happiest day of my life. After all the suffering we have endured in the past few years, Maria, my beloved wife, has blessed me with two beautiful angels. But there is more. After all this time, she has returned to me. She looked at me with her eyes wide, as if she had not seen me in years, like she was waking from a dream. That's not all. Something odd happened when I checked my watch to find the exact time at which the first baby, Emma, was born. As I opened the lid, of the, gla uh, the glass cracked, and the hands utterly stopped. I do not think this event to have some meaning or other. I am not a superstitious uh, man, but Maria insisted that it's a sign. She has started using the hour as her lucky number and uses it for everything. Okay. Do we... Do we know what hour that is? There's a birth certificate there. Anna. So she was born in, I think that says 1971. Alright. Okay, now visually this game's kind of strange. Um, it looks very pretty. But our character here, her face is a little bit strange. Her outfit actually moves quite well. Uh, anyway, let's let's keep looking. So, I guess that's the pocket watch. There's a latch. Time stood still when my two angels fell from heaven. 
Alright, so is he our dad? So, 20 to, 20 to 1. An old pocket watch, yeah. Old photograph of two young twins. 20 to 1. Uh, bollocks. So we want 1, 2, fuck. Yeah, this is very fidgety, actually. Oh, we can use the mouse. That might actually be easier. So we want 12, 35. There we go. Uh, a combination padlock. Really? Okay, why do we want that? And a wrench. A ru uh, an old rusty wrench. The jaw size is adjustable. Do we have to like adjust it before we fiddle with stuff? Now, how do we actually control this? Oh, it actually controls okay with the mouse and keyboard, to be honest. Uh, an instructional sheet. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, there we go. So, WSD and shift is to run. Space is to interact with things. Tank controls, I guess. Alright. Okay, maybe the mouse and keyboard will be fine. Don't usually like playing games like this with the mouse and keyboard, but, you know. We'll see. We'll see. We can always switch the controller if need be. Okay, so... This place is really fucked up. So, we've lost an eye. Don't let the shadows embrace you. What does that mean? Uh, I don't know. Uh, really? Oh, no. That's going to be annoying. All right. How do we... Really? Interact. How do we change... Right, okay. Yeah. That's an interesting idea, but... Ooh. We've escaped. But what fresh hell have we escaped into? Very pretty game. So, I don't... Ooh, that's a little bit too dark. Ooh. What is that about? When they say don't let the shadows embrace you, does that mean you're not allowed to go into the dark? I thought they were probably talk talking about enemies. Alright, is there anything in this like plant pot? So we were in the restroom. Okay. I guess we're going to go down the lit corridor. I can imagine the puzzles in this game are going to be pretty devious. All right, Chief. An old gas lighter. Yes. Yes, it is. So, now we have the old gas lighter. How do we get into our inventory? Resources. Oh. We have... Clothes. A flowery skirt and a black leather jacket. Well, I mean, I, I can see the, the black leather jacket, but sure. All right, let's equip that. So, I guess darkness in this game is bad. Visually, yeah, it's very nice, actually. All right. So, I'm guessing if we go down into this dark corridor on our own, we'll die without this light. Now, do we have a map? Not that I know of. Right, so there's an exit there. I mean, at least our clothes weren't that far away. You know, sure as shit, could have been worse. Could have been walking around this place naked. So... The hell is that? Like a diving helmet. Guess we can't do anything with it. There's a lot of doors here. 
Ah. Oh, a map. Nice. Okay. Woodburger Hospital map. I'm hoping. Ah, F is map. Okay, I like that. Cool. Alright. So if I... Oh, right. If I push F, it literally brings this up. That's curious. Examination room. So it doesn't actually tell us whereabouts we are here. Can we... Can we not change pages? Uh, maybe not. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how we change pages or anything. It would have been nice to just to have like a, a standard map, but I guess this is fine. All right. Ooh. Some very fancy high resolution artwork here. Judith beheading. Yeah. Look at that, that's so cool. Uh, it's a recreation, almost looks like the original, yeah. Interesting. Lock from the other side, very Resident Evil. It's, mm, you know, this just makes me wonder what they could do with Resident Evil now. Like if they made a traditional, um, what was that? A traditional Resident Evil style game. Let's not go down there just yet. Let's go check out all these other doors. What have we got here? A map of the... Oh, right. Curious. So there's actually like a map of the area on the wall that we can look at. Uh, oh, right. Uh... And it won't budge. There are symbols above the keyhole. Yeah, I can see that. How do we interact with these? Uh, so is that supposed to be like Adam and Eve or something? But we, we can't appear to... Oh, we don't have the um, uh, wrench anymore. Okay, well, I'm guessing we can't do anything with that yet. And this lighter seems to last a while as well, which is nice. Okay. It's locked. It appears to open electronically. Brilliant. Fucking brilliant. You love all these locked doors. Waiting room, eh? So... Right, okay. Yeah, visually, the, ooh, visually this is very nice. That's the oldest trick in the book game. I don't know why we've lost our eye. That's really iffy. A clip of nails. Can be used with a nailer, so I guess that's the ammo that we're going to get. A nail gun. I'm a fan. Uh, a report about the Tsumit tribe. According to the latest archaeological discoveries on Winter Lake Island, the Tsumit, uh, I guess, tribe... Um, resided on the island for more than 500 years before being discovered by European settlers. Proof of this is an ancient underground cemetery uh, found deep inside a cavern on the island's shore, dating from the 10th century. More than 286 skeletons belong to 10-year-old children have been, or belonging to 10-year-old children, have been unearthed so far in the underground cemetery. All the bones were buried in Paris, and experts suspect that these were twins buried together. Ooh. Okay. Another electronically locked door out of... No luck with that. I guess we need a key. Ah, uh, we need a wrench. 
We've got four nails. That looks like a load of nails. We have four. All right. Um, so, do we need another wrench? A pharmacy service window. I can't see anything on the other side. Right, where can we... F oh, hello. Doll gives me the creeps. Does that have anything for us? The last doll had goodies for us. Have a little look in the examination room. If there's going to be some creepy shit, it's going to be in here. A vial of morphine treats minor injuries. All right, sure. We go self-medicate ourselves. That's fine. It's covered in blood. God, it reeks. I don't dare lift the sheets. Oh, Caroline, I think your name was. Come on, let's have a little peek underneath. Disappointing in. I'm disappointed in you, girl. Alright, let's go fiddle with this. The tape is required. Oh, we need tapes to save. Oh, right. That's interesting. Alright. Old files, nothing interesting. It's not plugged in, no, but there's no power anyway. So I guess we need to go, ah, there's a tape. Seven inch tape that can be used to record information. Uh, uh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know whether I want to use it, to be honest. Is that literally one tape? How do I bring my inventory up again? What is inventory? Right, okay. Resources. Yeah, so it's literally we get one tape. I'm gonna use the user control pad, fuck it. Medical books, nothing useful. Alright. Left side of a plastic heart. Interesting. Alright. I'm guessing that we're gonna need to fiddle with this. A detailed mannequin of the human torso. Do we have to... Right. I'm guessing we need to find another half of that. Okay. So, we need to find another half. Okay, so saving is... I think it's going to be a bit problematic. This game's going to be very dark as well, isn't it? That's what... This is going to be based around. Look at all these paintings. The Nightmare, painted by Henry Fuseli in 1781. It depicts a woman in a deep sleep with a demonic incubus crouched on her chest. This recreation is amazing. It almost looks like the original. Yeah, almost. The pretty good eye you have there for this art. Get it? Pretty good. I, eh, eh. All right, we've got a circuit breaker there. Nothing good. All right. Well, I mean, I guess we're going to be exploring. How do we get the map up on the controller? Click the map down. All right. So, what's that symbol? We've got. Is that a key? Would have been nice if we had... I mean, I guess that symbol there, that's got to be um, save room. Right. Now, I don't know if it's worth saving our progress yet. We are like 24 minutes in, so it probably would have been a good shout to save our progress. And that's the weird door that we need to fiddle with something. But won't let us fiddle with anything. That's locked from the other side. So we must be missing an item. It's going to be very easy in this game, I think, to miss items. Heart attack. Consult your doctor. Yeah, well, if you're having a heart attack, you're probably uh, going to struggle with that. Oh, no, there's the shitter. Ooh. Another clip of nails. Nice. That's good, but... Um, Ah, uh, we can go through here, the basement. 
before we go to the basement though, there was this door back here, but yeah, I'm guessing no smoking allowed. Is that are we gonna are we gonna die if we come in here with a lit lighter? Uh, patient report. Dr. William Wildberger. Since the patient's health is extremely delicate and the transfer could worsen their condition, I would advise against transferring them to the new hospital. The patient has cardiac uh, insufficiency and requires an immediate transplant. The patient passed away at 11.34pm due to cardiac arrest. At the time of their death, they were holding on to a metal object with the rapid onset of rigor mortis. I have been able to remove it from their hand. Okay. Ah, it's a hex socket. It's missing a handle. Cool. Well, we'll have it. Is that it? A cup of tea there. Now we've read that journal. Um, You know what? Let's just go into the basement. There's probably going to be some kind of heebie-jeebie monster in here. Oh, there's a... <laughs> there's a little... Little, <laughs> little mental fella driving around in a wheelchair. <laughs> Love it. Alright, cool. Oh, no, don't exit. I am wondering what the enemies are going to be here. Now, he went that way, so... Seems we don't have anything to defend ourselves with yet. Let's go this way. Oh. Well, that's delectable. It's been mutilated, it has. What the hell is going on here? Oh, I thought that was enemy coming at us then. Well, I mean, in all fairness... Um... You've been mutilated as well. Admittedly, you're not dead yet. I was hoping that little chap was going to have something for us. Oh, there's a statue wearing a gas mask. This is a very fancy hospital. A very fancy hospital. Can we light that or something? Yeah, maybe. There's candles here, though. Do not run. Does that mean do not run or is that just, you know, um, flavor text? Because it's a hospital. Do not run and break your neck. I'm guessing we don't have a map. We don't have a map. Ooh. Oh, hey, friend. <laughs> Oh, there's there's the crazy fella going around on his wheelchair. Oh, he's all right. That's okay. He's just having a little bit of a little bit of an explore. Oh, hello. What the hell is going on what here? What the hell oh, good. is going on here? My child, you are pale. What happened to you? A person in a wheelchair with knives in his hands was chasing me. Oh, it's you. Don't you remember me? I'm the town priest. We met here in the chapel only a couple of days ago. What? I'm sorry. I don't remember you. I certainly don't remember coming here before. The voice acting is not good. I see. Perhaps I'm mistaken. I'm old and get confused every now and again. What is going on here, Father? Where is everybody? Uh, are you going to ask him who cut your eye out? The patients and the hospital personnel have been transferred to the new hospital in town. This old mansion has been left pretty much abandoned. Why are all the lights off? I don't like this.
anything could be lurking in the dark. Okay, that's a bit odd that only half of that was read, uh, read out. I feel the same. Something evil is happening here. Something wicked that hides in the shadows. Mm-hmm. Is there a way to turn on the lights? The old generator has been playing up. It happens sometimes. Go to the end of the hall and through the door that leads to the generator room. You can restore the power from there. I see. I'll do that. Yeah. Uh, and also, not going to question the fact that he's, I don't know, doing last rites, I guess, on some kind of tied up, bloody, mummified corpse. Wait. Take this with you. It's not much, but it might be useful. It's dangerous to walk around the mansion unarmed. Okay. You, sir, know a hell of a lot more than you're letting Thank on. Thank you, Father, but what are you going to do without a weapon? My child, with a Bible in my hand, God protects me. <laughs> oh, I like you. You're going to die pretty, pretty gruesomely, I can already tell. Uh, so, a nail. Uh, there it is. With a modified air pressure tank to increase the power. Okay. Stools written on it. Cool. Uh, so, I mean, we're weaponized now. Which is good. We have Father... I didn't catch his name. PD file, maybe. Um, he's just chilling here. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. What's that? Oh... A well-worn crowbar. Sure, we'll have that. Can we use that as a weapon? I guess not. Uh, yeah, that's map. Right. So, we can't combine these two together. What would we want to padlock? Very... Oh, that comes with ten nails installed. Right. Right, we can't have the lighter and the nailer equipped at the same time. Okay. I don't know, man. This is interesting so far. Yeah. I, mm, okay, I quite like this. The characters are questionable. Cliff of Nails. Not sure how the ammo is going to work out. Oh, we can talk to him again. He, Yeah, there's something not right with him. Look at him. Look at the state of that. I came here looking for information about the two girls in this photograph. I see. What do you want to know about them? Anything, really. I was hoping to find some leads around here. At the mansion. I don't know what you're looking for, but I can tell you these girls are no longer with us. There was an incident some decades ago where they disappeared, never to be found again. They put so much detail into the environments. Holy shit. That sounds terrifying. That sounds terrible. Okay, so what she says doesn't match up to the subtitles. So that's going to be fun. Indeed, if you want more details, you could try the mansion library. Sounds like a plan. I'm sure you'll find something there. Okay. Thank you, Father. Take care. Okay. Well, I mean, sure, that's as good a place to start as any, I guess. It's not plugged in. An instructional sheet. Oh, so this is how to shoot our gun. Wait. So we can dodge, apparently. All right. Let's actually just try that out, if we can. Right, and X is to dodge. Well, she actually dodges quite far, too. Right, we can't... No, we can kind of run. Right, we can only dodge back, I guess. We can't dodge left or right or anything like that. Alright, cool. Alright, uh, I mean, yeah. Sure, okay. Fine. Ooh. 
Yeah, that's not ominous at all. I guess that's what we need the crowbar for. Or not? Really? A well-worn crowbar. Why can't... Why can't we use it? Ah, we can. Okay. Yeah, getting used to how the item system works is a bit odd. So this is the generator room. I'm guessing there's going to be bad nicks in here. Maybe. Yeah, the visuals are very impressive. At least the environments are. The environments are pretty stunning. Uh, right, so if we use the D-pad, we can only cycle the inventory. But if we use the analog stick, we can move it out. I got you. Can't use anything there. Can't use that. Can we crowbar it? No? Oh, right. Ah, twat. Oh, boy. The valve is missing. Well, that's awkward. How much pressure do we need to put in here? Right, so that releases the pressure. Okay. I'm sure somewhere there's going to be some information telling us how much pressure we need. Or something. There's more doors? Ah. Oh my god. There's a lot more to this. Alright. Let's hit the start button. So we need 10. Okay. So we need to get it to 10. Sure. Ah, and there's the fallen handle. Cool. Alright, we'll, we'll have that. Yeah, the, the environments are incredibly cluttered. And this game is very, very mazy. Ooh, missed that. Maintenance crew log. What? I think it's missing um, the Resident Evil kind of flickering. That you used to get the shimmying on items because there's none of that and the items are so detailed and cluttered or the environments are so detailed and cluttered that everything just blends in there's an issue with the electric generator the pressure of the gas must be exact for it to ignite the correct pressure is written on the control panel yeah 10. so this is set in 1994. all right okay let's put that there all right, so we need to make 10. Eight. Ooh. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Okay. That's enough gas, apparently. So I'm guessing we're one of the twins that disappeared. I'm guessing that's going to be what's going on here. Ah. Right, we need um we need it to be on 11 then because it drops like one unit of pressure or whatever when the system starts. Okay. Maybe that? Give that a go. How do we run? I think we are running. Yeah, we are running. Alright, let's flick the switch. Like half a unit too high. 
This is a kind of annoying. You, <laughs> I wish the switch was next to the the thingy, Bob. But I mean, hey, you can't have everything, can you? Right. So that's too low. That'll do. Eleven. That's what we need. Right. Let's give this a kick. Let's see what happens. Squeaky wheel gets the kick. There we go. Electricity. Let there be lights. Now we can put this bloody torch thing away and carry a piece. There we go. <sighs> Lovely. Alright, so we can go through there, which might be worth doing. But is there anywhere to save it down here? That actually isn't. We kind of need a save room. Because we're on 41 minutes. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. I guess we do have to keep the torch out. Okay, fine. Radioactive suits are lined up on the wall. Yeah, this is kind of annoying that we've got to now go back to find a save. Our father's still here. That's all right. No safe spot here. Right. Mr. Man's still out here, isn't he? Yep. Hey, friendo. Should we try shooting him? Uh, let's see what happens. Bit of action on this guy. Right. Let's get past... All right. Okay. Are we hitting him? Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, this is going very poorly. Is he dead? He's not dead. Now he's dead because the music stops. What's our health like? Portion. Right, so we're on caution health, but she doesn't change her animation, which is curious. Uh, that's the morgue. Is there anywhere to save? Go through the morgue. Lock from the other side. Of course it is. Right, so we've encountered one enemy. And he was not really too much to worry about, to be honest. Certainly thought he was going to be a little bit stronger than that. But for our first enemy, I'm happy. It's just a shame that we have to go so far back to save it. That's the trouble when you're recording. Now, if I remember correctly... Ooh! I hear monsters. Hello! Evening! Oh, hey, friend! Okay, so we can't... Can't back off. If you're up against the wall. Makes sense. Oh, And we're dead. You are dead. Right. The dodge mechanic is kind of ass, But that's okay. <laughs> I guess we're going to leave it here. This is interesting. Um, Yeah. I think we're going to sit down and kind of enjoy this one. Uh, the saving is going to be a huge problem. I can already see that. Uh, the combat is very clunky. I think one of the problems that I can already see with this game is it's too faithful to the original uh, Resident Evil. Like, it's got all the cool stuff from the original uh, Resident Evil style games and Silent Hill. You know, you got your fixed camera angles and stuff and you got your highly detailed environments and large mysterious mansion to explore. But you've also got 
all of the problems. Like the shit controls. The shit saving system. Uh, you know. But hey, let's see how this goes. I'm very curious. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.